Hey, and welcome to your last lab for uh, Credit 2 of Foundations in Computing. Uh, I'm going to go over how to download the antivirus software that you're going to need to know how to download for your performance task. Um, we're also going to go over how to not get the add-ons that are commonly associated with uh, a lot of free downloads. And by that, I mean stuff that changes your browser settings. By browser, I mean the, uh, the thing you look at the internet with, whether it's Firefox or Google Chrome or whatever. Uh, and if you've ever downloaded stuff off the internet or known somebody who has, which is just about everyone in this day and age, uh, they've downloaded stuff and then they'll be like, hey, like this isn't my browser page anymore. Why are my search settings changed or whatever? It's because they, uh, without realizing it, let the download change the settings on their computer. So I'm going to act, show you how to avoid that while still getting the free software that you want. So we're going to start here. Uh, and this is all based on page 33 of your um, Foundations and Computing Credit 2 packet. We're going to go to MajorGeeks.com. MajorGeeks.com. There we go. Now you see here over on the side it says antivirus. We're going to click right there. And then you've got antivirus subcategories. We're going to go with all-in-one antivirus suites. Now you've got several different options here. You've got advanced system care, Avast, and AGV antivirus. We're going to use Avast. So we click there. Now what this does is it takes us to this site, and this site looks confusing and uh, um, but what it's doing is just telling you uh, who wrote the software, uh, the size of the software, what type of software it is, and then how many times it's been downloaded. And then over here, you've got options of different locations you can download from. Um, now, you'll see down here at the bottom, limitation. This program is advertising, support, uh, advertising supported and may offer to install third-party programs that are not required for the party to run. Please watch the installation carefully to opt out. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can also tell that it, that's going to happen because it's licensed as bundleware. And bundleware means more than one type of software bundled together, like wrapped up together. So what they're trying to do is it's like a bait and switch. Hey, you can have this free program. Ah, oh, but we're going to install this other stuff too. So what we're going to do here, you can click on any of these sites here. I'll just click on the top one at author site because that means it's actually coming from the people who wrote the software. Click there. Now it should start automatically. Um, if it doesn't, you just click here. Okay, so it did start automatically. As you can see, we're just going to click save file. And you can see up here in the corner, it's starting to download. Now these are some, this guy's trying to uh, get tweets, uh, followers on his Twitter account. We're just going to uh, close that out there. All right, now you see it, the arrow is turned completely blue. It is downloaded, so I can click here and access it, or I could go down to my uh, Explorer here and click on Downloads, and it would also show up here. But then I'd have to kind of search through my downloads and find it if I wanted to, so it's always easier. It's right here, a vast free antivirus setup, but I always find it easier to just click right here and access it like that. So I'm going to do that. Now it says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Yes, we absolutely do. We're trying to install some new software. So we're going to let it do that. Now, we don't want regular. They want you to go regular installation. That's why it's big and blue and bolded. We're going to go with custom installation. Where do you want to install a VAST? You, uh, programs go in program files, so that's fine. And it's good to name them after what they are. So all of this is fine. We're just going to click continue. All right, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. They're asking you what you want to install. See how it says tools, and then it says browser protection, software updater, a vast remote assistance. This stuff right here, we don't necessarily need this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of browser protection. I'm going to get rid of the software updater. I'm going to get rid of Advanced Remote Assistance. I'm going to get rid of Secure Line. I'm going to get rid of Grime Fighter. I'm going to get rid of Rescue Disk and Browser Cleanup. And this Home Network Security, because these are all um, additional 
things that they're trying to add on. This is the bundleware. Our shields are here. This is where we're actually going to get our virus protection. This is something else entirely. All right. Now, language is fine. The only language we need is English. Unless you speak another language as your primary language and you want to select that, please do and deselect English. We're going to click continue. Please don't skip this. Read it carefully. Nearly every saw is collecting information about you. We promise to respect your privacy. We will never publish. Now, it's saying by installing this, uh, we agree to your end user license agreement. And what this is doing is it's saying we're going to collect information about how you use your computer so that we can change our program and make it better. And that's perfectly okay. I mean, you're getting free antivirus stuff from them, and it's not like they're going to steal your social security number. This is a fairly standard end user agreement. So we're going to click continue. And now it's installing. Now it will automatically land, launch a quick scan. I'm going to close my browser here. Actually, we'll wait on that. I'm just going to get right in here to the scan. You are protected. Now we can scan the computer uh, to get started. Um, and that's easy enough. See, it's already running the startup scan to let us know if we've got any viruses. We'll let it finish its, its scan here. No threats found. That's because I'm actually already running uh, a different... Uh, Bitdefender, which is another antivirus program on my uh, computer, but I disabled it so that we could I could show you guys how to install this. So this is what it'll look like once it's, once it's installed. Uh, there are tools you can go to. Uh, you can scan. You can go to settings here, and uh, you can download your updates. You want to make sure you're getting your most up-to-date um, uh, definitions of viruses because hackers are always changing their virus uh their viruses to get around virus protection. So it's always just this cat and mouse game. Um, so those are all things that you're, you're going to want to get into if you actually want to run a virus uh, protection program on your computer. Uh, it's good to set it just to scan, um, you know, once a week or something like that. And you do that, you get your updates by just clicking on this update button, by the way, guys. Um, and then you click OK, and that take you back out. Um, now what we're going to do here is I'm just going to exit out of this and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to walk you guys through how to uninstall the program now because it's useful to know how to get stuff off your computer, uh, often even more useful than knowing how to put stuff on. Um, so that's going to be our next screencast, but for now, um, thanks for watching. Hope that helped you guys and good luck with the class.